Hey, this is John from Turbot. If you're looking for quick demos of SteamPipe, you're in the right place. The SteamPipe project provides GitHub Actions that make it easy to install SteamPipe in a GitHub workflow, then install and configure plugins, and then install and run benchmarks and dashboards. This is set up SteamPipe for GitHub Actions. It installs SteamPipe and optionally installs and configures plugins. On the Marketplace Actions page, you'll find plenty of examples from the simple to the advanced. And here's SteamPipe check for GitHub Actions. It installs and configures SteamPipe mods that provide benchmarks and controls. It configures mods and runs benchmarks. Again, there are plenty of good examples to help you get started. Here's a workflow that uses both of these actions. It triggers on pull request. We'll see why in a minute. It uses the built-in checkout action to check out the repo into the GitHub Actions runner. Then it uses SteamPipe setup to install SteamPipe with the Terraform plugin configured to look for .tf files in the current directory. And finally, it uses SteamPipe check to clone the Terraform AWS compliance mod, run all its checks, and post a snapshot to Turbot pipes. To illustrate, we'll start with a commit that improperly sets block public ACLs to false in an S3 bucket resource. When we raise a PR for that commit, the workflow springs into action. Let's walk through the steps. Here's the repository checkout. Here's where we install SteamPipe, then install and configure the Terraform plugin. Here's where we clone and run the Terraform AWS compliance mod. The usual summary appears at the end, but that's not all. The workflow also created a snapshot and pushed it to Turbot Pipes. Here's the link to that snapshot. These outputs are exported to the runner, and an artifact containing the CSV output is created. But that's still not all. We said the workflow triggered on a pull request. Here is that PR. There's an annotation on the offending line 4 of s3bucket.tf. So if you're reviewing the PR, you'll know exactly what's gone wrong and where. The Actions Run page shows you all the annotated check failures, the artifact, the pipe's snapshot link, and finally, the benchmark's markdown output. And that's SteamPipe Actions for GitHub in a nutshell. No explicit SteamPipe commands are required. You can use these actions to install SteamPipe, configure plugins, install, configure, and run mods, share dashboards, and annotate pull requests when controls raise alarms. Thanks for watching. If you want to try SteamPipe for yourself, download it for free today at steampipe.io. See the video description for links and details.